we are. In this video, what I want to talk about is time management. I'm going to give you a couple tools in this video to help you with managing your time. And another thing I want to talk about is just the general philosophy about managing time. Now, here's the big thing I want you to understand. I was watching a video on YouTube one time, and a guy was talking about should he take $20,000 to go to a dinner with somebody. So basically, when you get high in business, people will often hit you up and say, hey, I want to take you to dinner. They're willing to pay for dinner, something like that, right? Or they'll say, I'll pay you so much money for an hour of your time. And when you're starting off, that sounds amazing, right? If somebody told you, hey, $10,000 for an hour of your time, who, who would not want to jump on that? But the, the thing that was so interesting about what he said was, he said that would be a waste of his time. Why? Can you guess why that is? Well, the reason was because at the level that he had gotten to, if he spent that hour for $10,000 $10, for an hour of his time, he actually would end up losing money because the level he had gotten to, that hour of his time, he could make $100,000. So I want you to really think about that when we go into this philosophy about why time management is so important. A good friend of mine, and he's actually in this course, uh, Justin Perry Reed, he said something to me one time. He sent me a video. It was from Magic Johnson. He said, the funny thing you don't realize is it takes the same amount of time to make a million dollars as it takes to make a thousand dollars. I want to let that really set in for a second. It takes the same amount of time to make a million dollars as it is to make a thousand dollars. So the whole point is, before we get into some of these strategies and stuff I'm going to talk about, um, I wanted to just really give you the philosophy behind how you should be thinking about your time management. Because if you go into this thinking that, you know, an hour here just being on Instagram or an hour here, um, you know, watching TV doesn't mean anything, then you're going in this to the, with the wrong mindset. An hour of your time, if you're understanding how to generate money, could literally be worth thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, and even millions of dollars someday. So think about that philosophy when we're going into this. And I do want to say this. Um, I'm not taking a shot at Instagram because I use Instagram or anything like that. What I am saying is the efficient use of these tools and using these effectively, if you're just scrolling around, you know, liking pictures, looking at the thirst traps and stuff like that, that's a whole different thing from somebody who's actively using Instagram. We've got one of the best influencers I know, which is country, country cowboy, DJ, as a part of our team, and um, he's on Instagram all the time. But the difference is he's using that to generate revenue. Remember what I said in the other video, revenue generating activities, 80% of the time, should be spent on revenue generating activity. But let's get back to time management really quick because I don't want to get off topic. Okay, so time management. Here's the first thing, and this is an amazing thing that I learned as far as how to manage time. So you should break down each part of your business. And in this course, we're going to talk about the different areas and aspects of business so you'll know exactly how to break this down. But you should break down each aspect of business and dedicate a certain amount of time to it every day. So let's just take um, five areas. Let's say sales, marketing, value delivery, value creation, and finance, right? And um, I won't go, I'll won't go. i go into depth in another video, video what these are, but let's just say like this. So sales, how much time should you be sending on sales a week? So let's say you're working a 40-hour week and 80% of it should be revenue generating. Well, you could do the math there, 80% of 40, right? And I, I tell people all the time, I don't do math on air because when you get it wrong, it's just there forever, right? But 80% of your time should be on sales in the zero to one million phase. I just believe in that philosophy so much because I believe most people's problem is they're just not out there selling enough. I've seen some really shitty products getting traction simply because the person is willing to sell. Why well, I've seen some amazing products getting no sales because the person was worried about their marketing and branding and not selling. So let's break down a week. So you can say um, you got 40 hours, you spend that much time working on sales. Um, then you spend another hour or so working on your marketing and branding. So you're literally sitting down, whether it's with graphic designers, if you do it yourself. I start off doing my stuff myself. You will spend that time working with graphic designers and stuff like that. Um, finance. That's looking at the actual books of the business, making sure that everything is correct in order, making sure the transactions are right. All those aspects of business. Uh, maybe another two hours is spent meeting with teams. So you might have weekly meetings. You might have daily meetings. Time is spent with teams. But the thing what you have to understand is when you put everything in a bucket of about time that you're going to spend doing everything, you can you constantly move the needle forward on everything. Um, I'll be honest with you, and this is the crazy thing I realized. Even to manage a big company, it really only requires about an hour a day on each department if you're efficient in how you manage your time. Another great book to read on this is The Ultimate Sales Machine, and they talk about this concept, which is how you manage your time. So me, typically, what I'll do is I'll spend an hour a week on key areas of my business, 
which um, like stuff like product development. So creating a product like this, this was literally conceived in a one hour meeting. And once we broke down what we needed to do, we just put it down on a task tree. And I'm gonna talk about some of those things in a second. And uh, we just run through the task. So filming this video is one of the tasks. But this was talked about in a meeting that only took an hour long. And when it comes to my team, I do all this in an hour long meeting. So we talk about strategy. If we get the corporate vision and stuff in alignment, it's all done in these little one hour meetings because we understand how to do them. So the big thing I want you to understand in this video is that break down every aspect of what you need to do for your business. And the more you go through this course, you're gonna understand business at a high level so you know exactly how to break this stuff down. So I'm telling you this right now just to get your mind thinking about how your time management is going to be, but that's a key thing. Another couple of things I do wanna talk about, and we might have some other people come on here to talk about other tools, but some of the tools that I really like, and if you look through your workbook, if you got the companion manual that came with this course, um, in the back, there's actually, actually I'll, ha I'll have the editing team put it up on the screen. There's actually a list of apps that you can use in order to help manage your time. This goes from everything from time tracking and uh, task management. Two that I really like for that are uh, you can use Asana or you can use Basecamp. Those are two good things if you want to manage teams and get large teams working to together. Asana is actually free. I think Basecamp is also free, but Asana is free to a certain point. So there's certain enterprise tools that they don't give you. And then also you have Toggle. Toggle is an amazing app because this can track time. Uh, what we do, what we do here is we actually track our time of how much we work a week, and then we can track how much we put in each box a week. So remember, I said if you're putting 40 hours in a week, 60 hours, whatever you want to put in, but if you're putting 40 hours in a week, and then you know you have to do six hours editing, well, just clock six hours a week of you editing, and what you'll see is that stuff just keeps getting completed because you're just managing your time. Whereas I know sometimes you could spend 20 hours doing something, but you don't move any other parts of the business for it because they just get neglected. And if you're a solo entrepreneur starting off, this time management aspect is so, so, so important. So just to recap here, a couple things I want you to remember. Your time is valuable. I want you to say it with me. I know, I know you're talking to me through this screen, but I want you to say it with me real quick. Say it. Yep. My time is valuable. The reason I want you to say this is because once you understand that an hour of your time, because remember I said a lot of the, the million dollar projects I've worked on have been conceived in one hour meetings. An hour of your time could potentially be worth millions. You understand why it's important for you to get very deliberate about managing your time. And some of the strategies I've given you here about putting all your stuff in a box, what the things that you need to do to manage your time, whether it's product development, whether it's sales, whether it's marketing, put those in boxes and dedicate a certain amount of time a week to it. We're gonna be going through everything about how you set your goals, how you set up your weeks, how you set up your vision, all this stuff for your company, but Get the philosophy in your head right now that you need to have some system to manage your time. And I promise, once you become lethal with managing your time, you're going to find yourself having the ability and time to do whatever you need or reach whatever success you want. So, with that being said, enjoy.